And we're back! Yep. Timer? Oh, yeah. No, we don't use timers, Mech. And we're back! Um, this isn't a stopwatch. <laughs> anyway, um, so... I might as well continue with what I was saying. Yeah, Mick was talking about why this version is 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 bad, which I don't quite understand. Oh no 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 not it, 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 like it's what? not it's not it's I, not a big mistake. I don't think it's unfair. I mean, okay, I will. Uh, all cards on the table. This port was made by Sansaru Games, who are known for Sly Cooper and Sonic Boom. So take that with a grain of salt. Okay. Yeah. So the th so the thing is is. And I'm not going to blame them specifically because a lot of people make, a lot of uh, companies and people make this mistake, um, which is, so when you are um, trying to make something um, widescreen, um, you can either, uh, what's going on? Like something that was in standard resolution and trying to make it widescreen, you know, you can, you can either have it stretch to fill the thing, which looks terrible, or you can just show what was, no, what was outside of the frame before. And that's what they did for this, which in the mo in the game, it, when, when you're in the game, perfectly fine. Cutscenes, on the other hand, are a bit of a. So they used to do the they used to do this when um, making uh, making former widescreen films full screen, um, back when they were doing that um, to fit them on like television. Um, but they, you would see things outside of the frame, like, like you you could see the boom mic, because when they you know when they were actually you know when they actually had it recorded and put in widescreen, um, let's go again. Uh, you know, uh, like obviously the. I mean, I I, I... the the thing the th so. What they so uh, sorry I was I got a bit distracted trying to actually play the game. Um, oh but, yeah, by all means, uh, you might want to keep that barrel. Okay, apparently not. Oh. I should not, should I should not stand there. Why not? It'll be funny. No, it won't. Think the game programmed being crushed to death by an elevator? Yes. Um. Anyway, uh, was it? Um. Oh yeah. So the um. Uh, and so there are some times where, like in cutscenes in this, um, what's going on? Uh, they will talk about things will leave the frame on the original, but they'll still be in frame in the widescreen. So, for example, uh, I know this for so there's this one there's this one thing with a woolly mammoth. Oh, um, I'm not sure if it's in this game or it's in is it it, it is in one. Oh, no, I don't know what you're referring to. So there's this one level where there's like a woolly mammoth or whatever. Oh wait, maybe I do. Um. Anyway, it looks like semi. If we, if we get to it, point it out to me. Yeah. Um. And so what? What's? Yeah. Um. And anyway, so. If you stay still, you can Metal Gear Solid it. Oh okay. Never played Metal Gear Solid. I mean, I just use that as a stereotypical stealth gotcha. game. Um, um. But I just mean that you won't be seen if you stay still. Gotcha. Um. But uh, anyway, like, and they talk about it, uh, and uh, Bentley talks about it, like, like, uh, it, like, if you see it run away, and Bentley talks about it being, you know, falling in the water and dying, or like, getting oh frozen. yes, okay, that's like uh, the sixth or seventh level in slide two. Okay, yeah, but oh god, I remember it's really tragic. But in the but with the widescreen, in the widescreen version. It just kind of moves to the edge of the screen and then yeah, stops. I remember that. Stand clear, Sly. Something else is coming out of the deep breeze. I've never seen such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that. He's back in the deep freeze. Yeah. Oh, I actually do remember that. In standard definition. Um, the thing is, I had forgotten that that was... That didn't happen in the original PS2 version. Yeah. Um... Um, also, I saw the fucking bottle. You get it. You got it. I mean, because you can just... No, you can just use it from that bookcase over there. I think. How am I supposed to get up? Climb on those little books. And then double jump. Do it again. Do it again. Jump. 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 Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um... um. And like, yeah, it's, it's never been a big deal. Oh yeah, no, no. It, that's the thing. It is not a big deal. It's just funny, um, and it just shows, you know, 
again, it's like seeing a. It's like when you. Where if, you going? Uh, up there, there are things. Where? There are bottles up at the, on the top floor. Well, yeah, but oh, you, but you're gonna go back up there, I think. Oh, you are okay. And also, you just got shot by. Yeah, bullets. I know. Um, by the way, nothing for these rats getting slaughtered. Residential rat enthusiast Mick. Listen. Yeah, yeah. Tell me why you didn't mourn for those rats. Oh, I see. Why did I not mourn for those rats? Well, the first time because I didn't notice that they died. I know you were you were on a whole thing, and I saw them. Like God, he's gonna. I'm gonna have to point this out later. Yeah. Um. Stay still. Really, really. This is where we get silent. The rats. The rats is where you stop talking. I'm giving them a moment of silence. <laughs> I don't want to do this with you anymore. Um, I don't understand you. I'm trying to figure out what... I do not recognize that center painting. Uh, of course you don't. It's a Raleigh original. I guess, yeah. Yeah, but like the other two next to it are parodies. And, uh... No, they're not. How dare you? R Raleigh the Frog. Let me tell you a little something about Raleigh the Frog, all right? He was born in 1852 England, and all he did was paint. Um, he would stick his tongue in the paint and then lather it all over the canvas. like. Please never do that in my presence ever again. Right. So after he lathered a little bit... Um, what did I just say? That's how... All right, I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Um, that's how he created most of his great work. Um, but then someone's like, that looks an awful lot like Venus. I'm like, no it doesn't. This is a Raleigh original. Didn't you see me lather and do the tongue noise? And I'm like, well, yes, you. but you created, you created a parody. It's like, excuse me, this is 1850s England. The parody doesn't exist yet. It does. Well, he doesn't know that. See, he's a he's a bad guy, Mick. He okay. he has a bad guy mentality of of everything he he does being correct. Okay. So he um he got he got his paintings confiscated, mm -hmm. and that's why he was on that ship right earlier. He wanted to get his stolen art back and prove to the world. That's why he's a bad guy. He okay. wants to prove to the world that he did all of this art first. Okay. And also, he kind of just wants to. He kind of hasn't gotten any in a while. And he just kind of wants to look good. It's like, hey, you know, I killed a, I killed, I killed a raccoon's dad. <laughs> I killed a raccoon's dad. Well, I didn't kill a raccoon's dad. I part. I was there well, while well, the raccoon's dad that, what was I, killed. What I was laughing at is the idea that he killed a raccoon's dad, when in fact the raccoon's dad is also a raccoon. So you could just say he killed a raccoon. <laughs> No, 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 because because the, because the raccoon has a dad doesn't mean it's a raccoon. I killed a dad. Yeah. That's that's the takeaway. Uh, uh what, what, what? Uh, s s you and your logic. Sly's sl 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 dad isn't, he's not a raccoon, he's a deformed human. I mean, look, why is Sly's best friend a turtle and a hippo when he is a raccoon? Do you see those species hanging out on a regular basis? Yes. Okay, but you're Mick. You, you, you are... I commune with the woodland creatures. Yes. Okay. Hippos are not woodland creatures. Yeah, they are. I know enough about hippos to know that they are, in fact, not Have you ever creatures. seen a, have you ever seen a hippo in the woodlands? No. I have. Therefore, have they're woodland creatures. Oh, yeah? What was that experience like? Tell, tell the audience. When you first met a hippo in the woodlands. Well, um, Stop getting killed by that squid. It was dark, so I couldn't see very well. Um, but I swear, they, you know, there was a hippo there, and, uh... It's it, dark? Okay. Yeah, no, it, um, it, already doesn't sound believable. Go on. It showed it to me, and, you know, he, he was clearly a hippo. It had a, you know, a, a, a long, sort of bushy tail, buck teeth, um, eating nuts. Nick. And, uh, I, I saw it, it's kind of, I kind of spooked it, and it ran up a tree. Can I ask you a couple of follow-up questions? Sure. Um, what color was it? Uh, I mean, it was dark, uh, so it could have been purple. Okay. All right. All right. Let me, let me ask a different question. How large was it? It was about um. 
About yay big. Okay. So it, what you're showing me is about a foot or two. Yeah, about that. Okay. All right. Um, you said it was eating nuts. Yeah, maybe a little shorter than a foot. Okay. Ran up a tree. Yeah. It's a squirrel neck. Nah. You uh, you just define. I a know a hippo when I see one, and that was a fucking hippo. It was a squirrel. It was a, it. It was a so it was a it was it was a short hippo, but it was still a hippo. <laughs> really, a short, uh, is there a species of short hippo? I don't know. Or is it? The North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. I think this one was just unusually short. And listen, it doesn't need any of your, you know... Oh, my sass? Are you about to give me crap? No, no, I was just, I was gonna accuse... You're gonna accuse me. I don't know where I'm going with this. I, anyway, I... look. Look. I saw a hippo in the woods, and that's the end of it. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I feel like you really need this, <laughs> so I'm just going to back off. It was a small hippo with an unusually large tail. What's the guy who, um, what's the guy who made Fable's name? What? Uh, just, just, what, the guy who made Fable, what's his name? Uh, oh, Peter Molyneux. Yeah, I feel like you're about to get very Peter Molyneux with your passion for seeing this hippo. It was, like, it was a hippo! It was purple. It was beautiful. You could start a family. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been talking about Peter Molyneux. We have, we have never mentioned Peter Molyneux. Okay, so Mick Mick is a big Peter Molyneux fan. Uh, uh, not so much for Peter Molyneux himself, uh, just the passion behind Fable. Yeah, so, um, and again, I have not been able to find this, but I swear I remember seeing this bit where um, Peter Molyneux fucking breaks into just breaks down in tears, crying. About Fable. About is the fact, you can start a family! And he hasn't shown us, but, um... That's, a, that's the thing, I haven't been able to find it from. But, uh, if it's there, uh, and if anyone can find it for us, I would like to see that. You got a key. And yeah. missed two bottles. But yeah, mostly well. the key. And now you have enough to move forward. See what I mean? I don't really care. Man, Taylor, we've got to pause the video. I have to go get those keys. No, Mick, you just said you don't care. No, I, I was lying. I'm lying. I lie all the time. That's kind of my thing. Yeah, it's my thing. I come in and I throw lies everywhere. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's what you want. Yeah. All right. You know, for someone who doesn't like the show, I quote "What's Always Sunny in Philadelphia" quite a lot. Oh, it's such a quotable show. Yeah. Such a good show. A bit like, and prepare to cut this joke out, I jerk off to a lot of anthropomorphic animal porn for someone who hates furries. Alright, keep that in. Um, what? <laughs> Can you repeat that whole sentence no, again? No, no, I'm good. Please? No, I'm fine. You jerk off to a lot of anthropomorphic porn for a guy who is into furries? A guy who hates furries. Is it time to end the episode? No, it's not. It's not. Oh, boy. We have another ten or so minutes. <laughs> Just, uh... How did, this, how, did, how did this topic of conversation come to be? <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway... Talking about Peter Molyneux? Yeah. Oh, no, because... Don't worry about it. Anyway... Oh, I'm very worried about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, it's okay. I just, you know, I jack out the furry porn. It's my, my, it's my thing. It's my thing. It's not even your thing. We brought a resident furry expert onto the show, specifically so none of us had to be that guy. Let's... And you have just outed yourself. We are episode three into our first series of Let's Play. And you're just, you're, you're there. All right. All right. Let's do this. Mick Jack's off to furry. Let's, let's go. Okay. Let's go. So... So was Carmelita sexy? The fox? I mean, yeah, but that's besides the point. <laughs> no! It's a very big part of the point! I need to understand where the line is, if you have one. Because I need to know if you differentiate yourself. I'm sorry. I don't think there is anything wrong with furries. I don't think there is anything wrong with getting off to, uh, to furry porn. I just didn't know that of Mick, and he just dropped it as though it was nothing. I hang out with him on a regular basis, so the idea that I would have known a, lot, a little bit about him going in, I feel like 
feel like I just I, yeah. I know a little bit too much. Yeah, I would also leave two guy in the corner. Yeah. Um, so uh, real talk, I don't jerk off. Um, so uh, did you lie to me? Yeah. I did. Wait, 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 real talk, I don't jerk off. Yeah. Um, oh, that's the end of the statement. Yeah, it is. Um, Learning a lot about you today. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, let's go on. Gunboat graveyard. Yeah, cool. Um, you know why it's a graveyard of gun boats? Because well, they can't shoot their loads. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so, um, also, um, but yeah. So, yeah, no, I do not, in fact, jerk off the furry porn. It's just something that I've, uh, it's just something I began to say as a, a j so, I played TF2. Oh, as a joke? Yeah, so I played TF2 a lot. As a guy who jerks off to a lot of furry porn, yeah. I like to think that I know a little bit better. So, I play TF2 a lot, and, um, one of the things is, you know, there's always, I mean, with any online game, there's always terrible people. Um, sure. you know. Sure. But, All joking aside, there is a very toxic community in the universe. Um, in the what universe? Just the universe. Oh, the universe, yeah. Um, yeah, and so, you know, what? and so sometimes I, and what I like to do, I, whenever someone, you know, is saying something, you know, racist or sexist or just terrible in general. Which happens, I try, sure, regularly. You know, I try and do something to diffuse it. And usually I do that by saying something really, really weird. And so... That is one of my stock go-tos, um, which is, you know, I jerk off to a lot of anthropomorphic animal porn for someone who hates furries. Really? So you have you have stated that sentence before? Oh, yeah, it has. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. I thought that was something you were sharing with me. You're oh, right. no, no, it's not. Um, I, thought, I, thought, I thought our friendship was evolving. No, no, trust me. Uh, it tr I'm just a filthy casual. Yeah. Um, All right, no, that's cool. I mean, that, uh... Mick, have you noticed that there's a whole character arc of our friendship yeah. throughout this entire series thus far? About whether or not we're really friends. Yeah, I know. Um, also, I did not realize that was... I I mm. could have sworn that was a normal spotlight. It was a normal spotlight. If you go into the spotlight... No, I know that, but, like, I mean, like, I, you know, I, 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 thought, I, thought, I thought it was just lighting. I didn't realize that it was, you know... Okay. I could have told you, I just... I don't know how much how much guidance you want. Yeah, no. No, I don't want that much guidance. Um, like that. Don't go in the water. Because you, you'll drown. I know. Because, you know, Coopers don't swim very yeah. well. Um, but so, yeah, that had been one you of know, my... You know, the manual of Sly Cooper. Yeah. I brought that up earlier. Yeah, I know. Um, Just thought you would listen. Yeah. But you were too busy watching furry porn. Yeah. But so yeah, that had been become one of my stock go tos because it just kind of it just kind of puts people on their like they just kind of go. Wait, Not what? that there's anything wrong with it, just um, it's just a real. It's just when someone is just that it isn't casually accepted by society. It's yet. just that when someone is yelling, you know, you know, in, if someone is going in a voice chat and yelling, you know, um, uh, then you know, uh, you know, it's. <laughs> when I come in and I go, you know, I jerk off to a lot of anthropomorphic animal porn, so it's furries. It just kind of diffuses it. Uh, I I use that. I also have, um, let's go again. Yeah. Another personal favorite of mine is, um, so do you guys know any folk songs? <laughs> um, the joke being that nobody ever knows any folk songs? No, no, it's just sort of a weird thing to say. Um, yeah. Well, I will say that you're, you're a lot more, it's... What 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 conversation sh topics you have to pick up aren't going to like offend nearly as many people as the ones people do to diffuse random topics. Um, in my in my situations, for me, um, when people wanted to change the subject, they'd just be like, "Hey, so Taylor, what's your take on abortion?" And, and I just be like, <laughs> wait, that's how they diffuse it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the diffuser. Really, that's not the igniter. Nope. Nope, just like, hey, let's talk about something else. How do you feel about abortion, Taylor? Is it always abortion? Um, about 30% of the time it's abortion. <laughs> I don't hang out with those people anymore. Okay. Um, not specifically because of that, um, although it did not help. Yeah. It was not a great time. It's not a fun, it's not a fun talk. Um, and we're not gonna have a fun talk like yeah. that. Um, I'm just trying to think of others. Um, actually... Most recently, um, I developed my, my new favorite um, conversation uh, conversation uh, subject changer, if you will. Yeah. So um, um, I was uh, I was hanging out with Graham mm -hmm. on Sunday. Yeah. Um, don't die. I won't. Um, 
I was hanging out with Graham on Sunday, and um, we were uh, we were hanging out for a while because we were waiting to go uh, to go to someone's house. Um, you had not arrived on uh, campus yet, yeah. which is why you were not there. Yeah. Um, actually, this is great because I've, I've been made to tell you this story. Okay. So um, Graham and I are together for hours, and we are just almost out of everything to talk about. We have talked about everything in the universe, mm-hmm. and we don't know where to go further. I'm like, God, Graham, I think we're run- I, th- I think we're done. I don't think we have anything left to talk about. And Graham's like, all right, well, here, here, let's change the subject. I have a great sub- I have a great idea for, for, for a new topic. And he pulls out his Nintendo Switch and just puts it down. And then the room goes silent for a minute. And I'm just like, wait, is the topic of conversation just slamming something down? So I'm like, oh, that's great. I'm going to try that. Here, let's change the subject. I pull out my wallet. I just slam it on the ground. And that's my new favorite thing to do with people. I'm like, let's change the subject. So what was this new subject? It wasn't a new subject. He just like waited like, he just like, because he was looking for, um, because Graham brings like, he's the king of bringing like a bunch of shit that nobody wants to play with all at once. So he has to look through his bag and you got fast getaway. Great. Um, I guess he, I think he wanted to play million dollars, but, Mm -hmm. um, but it was at the very bottom of his bag. So he's just slapping things down. Like, Mm -hmm. this is way better. This is, this is, I'm going to use this. Mm Mm-hmm. Because it's really funny. <laughs> Let's change the topic of conversation. <laughs> so, so I, 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 I've, I've been using that on yeah. everyone I see. And it, and it gets a laugh. Let's change the topic of conversation. <laughs> it's really funny. I don't think I've told everybody yet. No. Um, but I plan to. Um, and, on, uh, and on that note... Um, we are uh, just about out of time. You are, uh, you're getting close to the end of the first world. Yep. I think you have one or two levels left, mm-hmm. and then uh, the boss fight. So, um, we'll, uh, one or two more parts, and then we'll be done with the first world. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Um, we've learned a lot today. Yep. We've learned how to tell good jokes. Uh, we've learned about Mick's, uh, Mick's way to derail conversations, and also what is probably his secret, uh, secret ideals. Um, you know, stay tuned.